So friends, let us see the balance of payment trend in India in the pre and post reform period. Pre reform period and post reform period, right? So this reform period basically means the 1991. So when I say reform, it means the 1991, before 1991 and after 1991. So the period one starting from the second fire plan 1956 till 1976. So this period of 20 years, during this period of 20 years, we had the heavy amount of BOP deficit. The reason was, first, there were three wars. Two wars with the Pakistan and one war with the China. Then there was a the situation of drought in around 1965. In the backdrop of this drought only, we started Green Revolution. Then we faced oil shock in 1973. Because of wars, drought and the oil shock, we had heavy amount of BOP deficit. Then in the next period, that is a period 2, which is started from 1976 and continued till 1980. This was a golden period as far as BOP is concerned. India had a current account surplus, right? So there was a current account surplus of 0.6% of GDP. India also possessed foreign exchange reserves equivalent to 7 months import, right? So our import cover was 7 months, right? The ideal import cover in India is 6 months, right? We will discuss the concept of import cover in the subsequent slide. Now, the next period is after 1980 till 1991. So here again, there was severe BOP crisis because of large trade deficit and decline in the net receipt from visible and reduction in the external assistance. This BOP crisis led to major economic reforms. Because of this major BOP crisis, India had to go to the IMF and World Bank and demand the foreign exchange reserve as a borrowing. And the IMF and the World Bank, they imposed certain conditionalities. They asked India to open up their economy. From that point of time, India opened its economy and the India Indian economy was globalized. So from that point of time, we are a globalized nation. Our Indian economy got globalized. So the BOP situation in post reform period, that is after 1991. So there has been a satisfactory trend after that. And what, what, is, what are the different factors which have contributed to the satisfactory train first there is increase in the balance of invisibles right so balance of invisibles especially because of increase in the software export that is a non factor non factor uh, services and receipt of the private remittances that is the factor services right or transfers from the abroad so both factor and non factor services have seen increase second Increase in the NRI deposits. So non-resident Indians, they are depositing the amount in the banking capital head due to special incentives which have been declared by the RBI from, the time, from time to time. So the Reserve Bank of India from time to time invites NRIs to invest as much capital into India as possible. Number three, increase in the foreign investment, both FDI and portfolio investment over the years. So after 1991, we in India, we have opened almost every sector and invited the foreign capital, right? Next is rise in the external commercial borrowing over the years. So with the increase in the industrial activity, the commercial borrowing from the external countries that has been increasing. However, there are some factors which are responsible for overall BOP imbalance, right? Still there is overall BOP imbalance, right? So what are the factors? Number one, increased imports of goods 
and services which include the what is the reason what are the reasons for increase imports domestic price rise so the level of inflation in india has been quite high because of high inflation level the prices of goods and services inside india are more than the prices of goods and services outside india because of that the people are increased or incentivized to buy the goods and services from outside india the second reason is cyclical fluctuations so there are cyclic cycles of fluctuation because of which our exports get reduced and trade and the import increases large scale development expenditure we as a welfare country we are expanding a lot we are buying the foreign technology we are buying the foreign goods for our development purposes population explosion the rate of growth of population is very very high because of that we are buying a lot change in the taste and preferences of end consumers so the end consumers they want to import the luxury goods they want to buy the electronic item from outside india because they are found cheaper over there so this is the first reason why there is an increase in the import second hindrances in the capital inflows due to political instability so we can see in india a kind of political instability uh, was seen for a long period of time when there was a coalition government because of that the foreign investors were not ready to come into india and natural calamity we can see lot of natural disasters happening in india we the uttarakhand disaster mumbai floods chennai floods etc because of that also the foreign investors are hesitant in investing into the indian market then we have depreciation of domestic currency because of that the imports become cheaper and export becomes expensive let's move towards the next concept that is the two different types of transactions in the bop statement so in the bo if we see the bop statement this is the format of the bop statement in this bop statement we can categorize the total transactions into two major categories one category till the balance of payment and second category below the balance of payment this first category is called auto nomus transactions and second category is called accommodative transactions so from exports till errors and omissions they are the autonomous and the reserve use this is accommodative transaction now let us see the difference so all these transactions which include uh, all the current account transactions and all the capital account transactions all these transactions have some profit motive right they the, the purpose of all these transactions is the profit maximization so i if we are doing the export we want to increase our profit if we are we are importing either we are consuming it or we are using it for further production and doing the export of same and maximizing the profit similarly in the capital also we are borrowing from the foreign cap foreign country so that we, we can increase our profit so somehow the purpose of all these transactions is to increase the profit maximize the profit and we can see there are both kind of transactions we have the current account transaction and the capital account transaction and these transactions they are independent of what is the situation of balance of payment so whether the balance of payment is in deficit or in the surplus it does not matter as far as these all transactions are concerned now coming to the autonomous transaction coming to the accommodative transaction accommodative transaction the purpose of accommodative transaction is to restore the balance of payment deficit if balance of payment comes into deficit as a result of all these autonomous transaction then this reserve will be used 
in that case this reserve will be used to restore the balance of payment deficit to nullify the balance of payment deficit so the purpose of accommodative transaction is not profit maximization rather to bring the balance of payment deficit into equilibrium right purpose of autonomous autonomous transaction is profit maximization purpose of accommodative transaction is uh, maintaining the BOP equilibrium right here in the accommodative transaction there is only capital transaction because there is reserve use the foreign exchange reserve have been used and foreign exchange reserve is a capital item it is not a current item so here it is a capital item and here it is a current item right these autonomous transactions they are called above the line because they are above the balance of payment and this accommodative transaction they are called below the line because they are below the balance of payment right so overall can we say can we differentiate between two like this autonomous transactions these are the transactions that take place for economic motives like earning income and profit maximization so the prime motive is economic these items are also called above the line because they are above balance of payment right these transactions are independent of the state of country's BOP whether favorable or unfavorable so whether the BOP is surplus or deficit it does not matter accommodative transactions these are transactions that take place to cover deficit or surplus arising from autonomous transaction right the purpose is to cover the deficit or to restore BOP balance these items are also called below the line item right because they are below balance of payment these transactions correct the disequilibrium which is caused by the autonomous items in the BOP account so we can see here the difference Autonomous transactions, they are independent of the BOP and accommodating transactions, they are undertaken to maintain the balance in the BOP account. This is the first category of differences. Second, these transactions take place on both current account and capital account. Right. So these transactions take place on both current account and the capital account. However, accommodating transactions they take place only on capital account only and only on the capital account number three these items in BOP refer to foreign exchange transactions which are independent of the state of balance of profit payment and these refer to the transactions which are undertaken to cover the deficit surplus in the autonomous transactions so these are the foreign exchange transactions and these are the transactions which are kept inside the country only apart from that autonomous transactions they are above the line and they are below the line right they cause BOP imbalance and they restore BOP imbalance autonomous transaction they involve transfer of goods and services and capital they involve transfer of goods and services and capital across the border here there can be transfer of capital in case we have to borrow from outside India or we have to use the SDR or we have to use some uh, reserve tranche right so in that case they can be transfer of capital so this is 
the major difference between the autonomous and the accommodating transactions you should know this because balance of payment categorizes the transactions into these two categories next concept is import cover so just understand this concept for example our monthly import is monthly import is hundred dollar and our foreign exchange reserve is one thousand dollar that means our foreign exchange reserve is sufficient to pay for the import for the next 10 month right if we have the foreign exchange reserve for one thousand dollar that means we can uh, we can pay for the monthly import for next 10 month right how do how do we calculate so the total foreign action reserve divided by monthly import amount that means we have the import cover of 10 month so this is called import cover ideal import cover is six month so we should have the foreign action reserve equivalent to the six month of import right so import cover of reserves is an traditional trade balanced indicator of reserve adequacy. So the purpose is to check whether the foreign exchange reserves are adequate or not. So this is an indicator of reserves adequacy. It is defined in terms of the number of month of import equivalent to reserves. So we have seen over here the example of 10 month. Here you can see this is also called as import ratio. The ratio of import to the foreign exchange reserves. So for example, the total foreign exchange reserves are $99 and imports per month are $33 billion. That means 1 in 3 ratio. Economists say that a country's foreign exchange reserve should cover 3 months worth of import. In India, we follow 6 month standard as a tradition. India's import cover fell marginally to 9.1 month at the end of December 18 from 9.5 month. So the purpose of this slide is that you can see that our average is you know uh, around between 9 months to 11 months. So we are very much safe. We are very much safe because we are having more than 6 months. 